This character, new year, new me, bro. I feel like this character has always gotten buffed every pack. Like, I don't think this character ever got nerfed. When did this character ever get nerfed? Eno went from like the same to like very good, very fast. Those dive changes are actually so obnoxious. And that proximity note change, like don't get me started on that. Eno is just a matchup check character? No. Like the moment Eno gets started, your guess high or low. That's not a matchup. That is you guessing for your life. It's a life check to check and see if you can live. What is good guys? Happy New Year's. And we already starting out with the New Year's, new me, new tier list. All right, so look, we are here. We're gonna talk about how the game is gonna be looking right now. I'm looking forward to now that the power level for all the characters are actually higher, but there are some characters that kinda got left behind. We're gonna talk about that. But before we jump into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you guys feel about my list. Now, are you guys excited for 2023? What are you guys looking forward to? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into it right now. 2023 is here. You already know what time it is, bro. This is actually gonna be pretty fun. Only because we haven't seen like one big tournament, but judging by just watching like some of the online matches, we got a defined definition of powerful in this pack. And we already know who's that powerful man is, man. This guy is undisputedly number one, man. Who would have imagined, right? That man that we actually have been waiting for actually has always been here, bro. He is definitely that man. It's like they buffed this character. It's like he wasn't good. Maybe Arxis is gonna watch again and be like, oh, maybe he's too good. Dude, so Soul, I, a lot of people said Soul sucks and he got really hit hard. But honestly, with the five heavy slash change and the gun flame, I feel like his power level is still kind of the same, to be honest. Now with the 6 H change on counter hit, you actually see more bandit revolvers into 5k clean hit volcanic bite. His 5 H, I have not seen it fully in action, but when I do see it, it works. It works in mysterious ways. Kai 5 H actually got bust pretty well. I do like the Fuja Art change. Now, Sacred Edge being way more like useful in a lot of ways actually made this character not as bad as I thought he was. I thought he was gonna get power crap. With those changes, he kinda have like really good offense. I think he relatively is the same. So this is really good. I'm really excited to see how well these two characters develop more in this nature, but relatively they are the same. So, you know, that's really good. Now, the moment you guys been waiting for. Yeah, new, new year, new May. I actually am more terrified of this character than most of the other characters. All her buffs are in insane. Dolphin being like some of the big changes. What makes Dolphin so good is like now, if you try to like, if she thinks you're gonna like throw her, she can just like S Dolphin up close. And because it's minus three, it's really hard to like challenge it. You know, only character that can really stop it is Soul and Chip. I think those are the only two characters that have three frame buttons. So they really made it where it is very hard to punish them. Axel low, man. In terms of like how his combos look, that sh is outdated, right? This character combos is the most ugliest combos that I've ever seen in my life. But if we're not talking about looks, this character is very good now. His punish damage has increased significantly. Oh man, his punish damage got really hot. What makes this really good is when Axel hit you, he gets a hard knockdown now. That means that he can choose whether he wants to pressure you or not. And uh, mind you, I feel like the system changes actually help him out, droughts, uh, help him out drastically. This character actually got buffed pretty well. It's very good, and um, I think his matchup spreads has only slightly gotten better. If he did, like, if he went even on some characters, he'd probably beat him now. Also, Rainwater is very good. The fact he gets the combo off that is crazy. New year, new me. Slap on the wrist, skyrocket straight to the New Year's, bro. Chip, in my opinion, only gotten better naturally because of the system changes, damage nerf, and then also the changes that he had makes his offense even more oppressive. Now that he has crouching confirms, that only makes his momentum even better. He already has an insane amount of corner carry. He's actually in a perfect spot right now. Definitely in the New Year's chilling. I think Potemkin is on the same, but better. Overall, I do feel like his core get like his core character is still the same. However, that is really good because being the same like in the next update is pretty good because you don't want to be nerfed, right? You don't want to be outdated or if you got buffed, you, you know, let's go. His buttons getting better was like the huge change and heat knuckle sucking you in. 
was actually the best thing that could probably happen for him. I haven't really seen a lot of like boss changes like be significantly like game changing. Uh, it seems like it was just like quality of life stuff, which is also good. I still think he's relatively the same. I think Wops was winning last patch and I think he's currently still winning this patch, but I still think overall he's morally the same, which is not a bad thing. Again, not a bad thing. I think Milia changes are very good. However, I truly believe that all the stuff that she got now was just a little too late. I don't think she's bad, so to say, but I think the things that she had, she should have already had. Them. Like, for example, like why her sweep was like so punishing when like that was like one of her core buttons. To be fair, I truly believe like Milia's not bad. I do think like early on she's gonna like be active, like popular, but I think she's gonna fall off naturally just because her stuff that she got now, it's like everybody been doing. Everybody already had this, you know, like now you're kind of like on the boat with us. This character, new year, new me, bro. I feel like this character has always gotten buffed every patch. Like, I don't think this character ever got nerfed. When did this character ever get nerfed? I do feel like one of these patches, I don't know when that's gonna be, but one of these patches, bro, Milia and Zotto is definitely gonna be top tier. I'm just, I just don't know when that patch is coming, when it, what year it is, but Zotto and Milia might be the top two. I don't know when it's gonna be, but very possible. This character, still new year new me maybe not top three but maybe top four character is still strong she still has high damage just not as high they buff all of her like launch combos they also gave her a cross up that is multi-hitting so yeah i don't think she's really gone her miss screen win condition definitely is not as strong but in the corner her win condition is high Leo went from very good to New Year, New Me. This character is actually pretty interesting because they nerfed something and then they gave it back. And then now it's like pretty obnoxious again. Naturally with all like the changes that they did, you're gonna see a lot of Leos magically start winning. I will say that he's uh, he's one of the most interesting because all of his changes got reverted except for like one. And then like now he's like good again. So it's pretty funny. Leo Mains rise up. Still very good, man. <laughs> They actually nerfed this character, but they buffed him too. The third hit of Slash is actually so annoying now. Is the character dead? No. Slapped him on the wrist. I would say all of the top tiers now are fightable. They have a weakness, finally. Giovanna. This character is New Year, New Me. People downplay this character, bro. And they, call, they talk about Kai mains, which is crazy. They talk about Kai mains. No one want to talk about Giovanna? Bro, if you get hit by close slash, just think about your life bar. And now she got like those TK da uh, 5H combos. It's crazy because you're plus, you're more plus than most characters. Air Spyro is OD too. Yeah, people sleep on that. People tell you simply 6P, I love that. Like, Anji is actually very good now. Anji is actually very, very good. No one's really talking about Anji anymore. That means that they're cooking something. Yeah, he generally needs any one hit now to start going ham, which is crazy, right? Because before it was like he had to constantly hit you and he never he never had a chance to go ham until he threw you. Then when he threw you, then he went to go ham. Now, any hit, ham. I think actually he could win a tournament, to be fair with you. I actually genuinely think he could actually win a tournament. It's funny, Anji hasn't been in the game, but for some weird reason, he hasn't been in the game that long and he's already better than Millia. I just hope that people be like, see, Anji was always good and you guys are fine. And like, no, these guys are now good. They can now win. It's definitely not gonna be an easy task, but definitely can be done. Eno went from like the same to like very good, very fast. Those dive changes are actually so obnoxious. And that proximity note change, like don't get me started on that. A super good now, super spammy a little bit. <laughs> you can just throw the note out anytime she wants. <laughs> she just, just, just ban that move, bro. That move definitely is a crutch now. Whatever, Arxis. Whatever you guys want to do. I don't think she's going to go low. People are going to find more, like, matchup sh And I think she's going to, like, go higher. Eno is just a matchup check character? No. Like, the moment Eno gets started, your guess high or low. That's not a matchup. That is you guessing for your life. It's a life check to check and see if you can live. Do you think the defensive option and the reward changes the matchup against her? You know, before I thought so. But the reason why I don't think so, honestly, is because throw leads into the same situation. 
with that normally being said, I don't feel like it's going to be that bad. And then she also has a command grip, nullifies like all the defensive buffs that they that the game got. She has ways to to open you up without you building options to get out. Yo, people, look, I'm telling you, people come at me saying that I downplay Kai. Bro, Go Lewis mains are like some of the biggest downplayers I've ever seen in my life. The first patch when he first came out, he was not that great. Then afterwards, bro, you can hear the trauma in my voice. This character is so good. This character can literally press buttons against 80% of the cast without worrying about what they are doing. That 2P change actually made him so much better. He was not as good because defensively wise, he didn't have any buttons to fight back. That was really, really huge. Yeah, if he hits you, the win condition matter, but now he has now he has buttons to fight back behind a super. That alone made him better. And I always told people like Strive, the way Strive works, being like the worst character in the game doesn't mean you suck completely. It just means that like you're you're definitely gonna be like the, the person that everybody smokes. Like this is this is bad, right? But those changes naturally made it where now when characters get close to him, he can backdash, mash, backdash, throw. He can do like all these like crazy stuff. Five, yeah, like all this like crazy stuff. But now he got 5K that staggers, Thunderbolt, always higher knockdown. Skyfish got buff. You know what I mean? Like all of these changes actually benefit him so much that when you look at him, like when he first came out, it is definitely not comparable in terms of strength. Back up. This character, very good, man. I don't think this character is New Year, New Me tier, but definitely really good. Like I said, I think there's too many characters that keep getting better than her, but she's not bad. She's very good. I think the, minion, uh, the minions being able to just work like Dr. Doom missiles from Marvel 3 is actually crazy. System change is actually nerfed her. Well, I don't think it's necessarily like a big nerf because it's, all you have to do is just stop and then you just go for the high low when they have max risk. And also, Burst resetting it actually nerfed it pretty right. Yeah, so overall, when you think about it, yeah, she got really good. She got hit hard from the system. But she's very good. Biking. Bro, they keep buffing this character every single time. I don't know what it is about her not being good. She's good, dog. Yeah, maybe maybe we need to pick samurai characters. If a new character comes out and they're a samurai, we have to play that character, guys. This character, bro telling you guys man this character has just kept getting changed and buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed now they are just buffed out this world and they can just mash so many things we are questioning why they are allowed to mash this like they just have they have it all i actually don't see a weakness they also have the best mid-range and anti-air poke so now we're gonna go for bridget uh, Bridget actually, damn bro, I don't think we got enough room, dog. Why are there so many top tier characters now? This character naturally got buffed because most of the characters that was just outright just crazy, uh, they got normalized. She got buffed. I think this character can win. I think this character is actually ridiculous. I actually want to start playing this character again. She is ridiculous. All right, so now we got the boy, bro morally the same i don't think he's outdated i don't think there's no outdated characters to be honest with you that's pretty much saying this is a pretty good patch i don't think this character is outdated whatsoever i think uh a lot of things that the system gave everybody he got slightly good things out of that after this tier list do you think this puts the game in a healthier meta or do you think it basically as whack as it usually is i actually think this is actually a very healthy meta for many reasons why before, top five was like on a whole different level. Now, I generally feel these characters can lose to this character, these characters can lose to these characters, these characters can beat these characters, these characters can beat these characters, why it'll be quite hard, can definitely beat these characters. But the chances of them like having like that win condition over like some character that's like top five is drastically different. Now, I think this character could, you know, get some win with these characters, but I think she has the hardest time out of these all these characters, to be honest. With you. Yeah, definitely want to agree download. I, I generally feel like this patch now, like, you can actually, like, fight everybody. Like, now, it's going to be, like, you're going to feel the power level of these characters, 
but you at least have stuff if you play these characters. It's just more of the things like the game's in a healthier place. It's hard, but you can do it now. Before it was like, why even do this? 